Hey everybody, I'm bored, so I thought I'd make a video. Uh, so far, my um, uh, my questions video hasn't gotten very many responses. I've only gotten two questions so far. Um, and that's probably all I'm going to get. I didn't think I was going to get very many. I mean, I've only got 100 and, what is it, 152 subscribers, something like that. I scared my cat. My teeth look really nasty. I haven't brushed in like two days. Isn't that disgusting? I'm a very unhygienic person. I've recently only been taking a shower like once a week. Could also be because I'm depressed. I don't know what else to say. You ever notice how in cereal commercials there's always somebody trying to steal the cereal? Like in Tricks, the rabbit is trying to steal it from the kids. In Lucky Charms commercials, the kids are trying to steal it from Lucky. In uh, Cookie Crisp, you know, there's the Cookie Crook, or at least there used to be. I think it's a dog now. But yeah, most cereals have something to do with stealing the cereal. Oh, Fruity Pebbles. Barney's always trying to steal Fred's Fruity Pebbles. It's like they're trying to show how great the cereal is by showing that, you know, somebody wants it so bad that they're willing to steal for it. But then, you know, that doesn't really send a very good message to kids. You know, it's like, if you want this cereal, steal it. Also, it doesn't, it doesn't really help them that much because kids will want to steal it rather than pay for it. Not really. I don't really think TV has that kind of effect on people. But still, it's kind of setting a bad example. Recently, I've been working on uh, 3D animation. Uh, there's a pro program Blender that I use, which is uh, it's open source. It's totally free. It's actually pretty cool. Um, but I've been using that, and uh, well, I've been learning it, and uh, I'm. Eventually, I have these um, I have these characters. I, well, actually, I have a script written of one episode um, that I want to do with these characters. And uh, eventually, uh, I'd like to see that happen. Um, the uh, the animation doesn't really have anything to do with um, atheism. I wrote it actually before I was an atheist, but it doesn't have anything to do with religion. So it's very little to do with being gay. Just that one of the characters is gay. That's it. One of the two main characters. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. I'm kind of I'm a little tiny bit bored of it right now, which is why I'm making this video. I... I don't know, I keep hitting these stumbling blocks in learning where I'll, I'll do something and something weird will happen. And I can't figure it out. And so I just... Uh, I just stop doing it for a while. And then I go back to it, and then, you know, sometimes I figure it out, sometimes I don't. But it's just kind of annoying. Anyway, what else do I want to say? Oh, I recently opened up a Facebook account. But my mom's on there, so I, I've been like... 
um, very selective with the stuff that I put up there. It says that I'm an atheist on there, so, you know, I don't know if she's seen that or not, but it's on there. So I've been spending a lot of time on Facebook. Facebook is better than MySpace. Um, MySpace uh, is owned by Fox, and we don't like Fox. Fox is boo. Facebook is owned by Facebook. Facebook is yay. MySpace used to be cool when it was just owned by Tom. You know, Tom, the guy who's on everybody's list. Even if you don't have any any other friends, you've got Tom as your friend. I think I've spent enough time doing nothing, just talking to the camera. So, I'm going to stop it right here. And uh, I will see you guys later. Adios.